tonight, the University of Dayton community is mourning the loss of a 19-year-old student after he died of injuries related to an incident off campus Sunday morning. Two News reporter Caroline Morse is live on campus with how the community is dealing with the loss. It has been a tragic month for university. Not three weeks ago to the date, a university student lost their life in a biking accident. And well, tonight, they're mourning the loss of another 19-year-old Michael Kern, whose death is being investigated by the Dayton police. It doesn't seem fair to have people my age dying <laughs> while we're in some of the best years of our lives. The hearts of the University of Dayton students are mourning the loss of one of their own Monday night. Yeah, I mean, it's just, it's been a hard time for our community because we've been, you know, put through COVID as everybody else has, but then we've had two very tragic losses of students in a very short period of time. So I feel like a lot of people are just reeling, like, what the heck is happening kind of thing. Earlier in the day, 19 year old Michael Curran died after he was critically injured off campus early Sunday. Now, the Flyer community paid their respects in an online vigil. Wanting some answers. Um, and just peace for his family because a lot of his classmates and peers have gone here as well. So it just be, I just, I hope his family is okay and he's a part of the Flyer family. So just, yeah, care for all of them and prayers and repose for his soul. Police are requesting anyone with information to come forward, but most important, the students say they demand justice for Michael. Just be as much of a support as we can from afar, whatever they need. I know that the family has asked for privacy at this time, so. That give them that, give them our support from afar kind of thing. Now, the online vigil hosted nearly 100 students and community members. And the University of Dayton says online services are available to those who love and miss Michael Curran. Live in Dayton, I'm Caroline Morse, 2 News, working for you.